Hello, Pokemosh Pit Beta. I am Like to Tubes, and today I have a. I guess you could call it UU 5th Gen Battle, but I'm using a Region Wars team that Kote 1616, uh, uh, he's having a little Region Wars series going on on his channel, and I decided to uh, use, test out my Hoenn team before we battled. So this is against Gerbil, or Gerbil, I don't know how it's pronounced, uh, from the TPX Zat. So uh, I guess let's get into it. He's got a Mian Shao lead while I have my Agron that says GG in its name. And uh, basically, uh, I have to, I've got a switch. I can't take the fake out and burn my Sturdy already. So I'm definitely just going to switch out, let my Registeel take whatever. And uh, it takes a it takes fake out like it's nothing. I mean, what else can I say? The lefties heals it back up, so that's awesome. And... Uh, now he's going to go into Venom, his uh, Gliscor, and uh, I go into my Milotic, I think, predicting the switch, uh, if I recall correctly, because I did see Gliscor um, in the team preview. So now um, he's going to go out to, into his Mandibuzz, I think that's what it's called, and I just use Ice Beam because I want to get rid of that Gliscor now. Uh, my team has a huge issue with Gliscor, and I definitely don't want to be seeing that later on in the match. So I switch out Milotic, go back into my lead Agron, knowing that this is a perfect opportunity to get up Stealth Rock, but he thaws out first turn, which is, eh, you know, I don't want freeze hacks anyway, so whatever. It's basically like it never even happened. So he's got to switch out, and that gives me perfect uh, oppor uh, ample time, I guess I should say, to... Uh, Get the stealth, get stealth rock up, and switch right back into Milotic after I see Gliscor come in. And he uses Fling, and I completely forgot about it. And that, that kind of sucks. I would much rather have my um, Agron poisoned than my Milotic. But I guess I do get Marvel Scale, so that's a bonus. But still, eh, you know, kind of a double-edged sword there. So he goes into an Espeon, and I don't know what to expect. I mean. Milotic's got great special defense, so maybe he's gonna go for HP Electric. I don't know. I don't know what else it learns outside of that that is super effective against the Water type. So I just decide to switch into my uh, Registeel because I don't know what it wants to do. And he uses Grass Knot, so I saw that and I'm like, well, good thing I switched into Registeel right there. Otherwise, my Milotic would be it'd be hurting. Got Toxic and a Grass Knot taking it down. That's not too good. Not too good at all. So I go into Sparky, my mana trick, expecting his Gliscor to come in, but instead he goes for a Psy Shock, which very interesting move. I don't know why he would go for a psychic, a psychic move that goes based off my defense, because my defense is uh, close to maxed out on that Registeel set, actually, because it pairs well with Milotic, as they both, you know, defensive synergy, whatever, blah blah. Yeah. Uh, so. Uh, Registeel, I bring back in Registeel because I can't have my uh, my Manic Trick taking too many uh, hits, and it's already like down in red, so I, I had to switch it there, and now I have to switch out again because I can't let my Registeel take Earthquake because that's going to hurt, and he goes for Acrobatics here, which was confusing, I mean he was faster, he knew he'd take me out with Earthquake, and he'd be at full HP, so I really don't get why he didn't go for Earthquake there, but he decided to, and here I could have used Autotomize to get my speed up and just get another Stone Edge off, but at the same time, what's it going to matter if I do? It could miss, so it's just, it wasn't worth it to try and predict that much. I just decided to go for the Stone Edge. Maybe he'll go into something else. So I go into my uh, Huntail here, and it's not a Shell Breaker. It's actually a Rain Dance Huntail. It sets up Rain Dance, and then... Uh, it, it's got Hydro Pump, Waterfall, and Return, if I recall correctly. So uh, it's actually a pretty decent set. It almost takes out this Cofagragus in one hit with a Hydro Pump, and that, that really had me surprised. I thought it would take two hits to take it out, but it didn't. So that's awesome, but at the same time, Willow was pit. I was hoping that it would miss, but at the same time, it's, you know, whatever. I can still take it out with Waterfall from this range, and that's exactly what I do. So Huntail, uh, definitely, he took out a Pokemon that was going to be a huge thorn in my side the rest of the battle, and getting a Cofagragus out of the way now is much better, better than having to deal with it tr potentially stalling me out later. So that's definitely awesome. He goes into a, a, a Chinchino. I think that's how it's pronounced. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I don't, I'm not gonna dwell on that. But I just go for Hydro Pump. I th I thought I would survive whatever he went for because Huntail does have really uh, good defense. It's like base 105. So uh, Huntail actually took that Wake Up Slap quite well, even with Technician Boost. So good job, Huntail. You you did well. Took out two pokes. That's all I ask for. So. 
I go back into Manic Trick, and he switches into his uh, Gliscor, I guess predicting me to go into my uh, Registeel because I can't stay in with Manic Trick because I'm too slow and I'll just get KO'd. So. Uh, that was a nice double switch on his part, and now I have to switch out again back into Milotic. Hopefully I can take two hits uh, due to um, Marvel Scale being active. And I can definitely t I can take hits all day long from Gliscor. It's just the toxic damage that is really having me worried at this point. So he goes into his uh, Mandibuzz again. And I think I go for Ice Beam or... S no, I went for Recover here predicting that Mandibuzz switch because... Honestly, Ice Beam isn't going to be doing much anyway. That thing has amazing special defense and amazing HP as well. So uh, no point in going for that. And th Instead, I just go for Toxic to... Um, get that passive damage on Mandibuzz. I know it has nothing to heal itself with, so I'm easily going to be uh, able to stall it with my Registeel if I have to near the end of the match. So that's a nice commodity to have, the Toxic on Mandibuzz. And now I think he, I'm think i thinking he was going to switch into like his Espeon or something, not wanting to get Toxic stalled. But instead he just decides to stay in and Brave Bird, even, even knowing that's not going to be doing anything because of Marvel scale. So... I don't know why he's doing that, he's just basically letting damage stack up on his poke, but I guess I'm doing the same thing, so. I What I should do on this turn is recover instead of switching out, because now I'm going to have to deal with um, having, a, it's like going to be taking a huge risk trying to take two hits from uh, any of his pokes later on, so I really should have used recover there, but whatever, it, it went down that way, so I can't really change that. And uh, he goes in back into his uh, Espeon here, and I think I decided to just go for Shadow Claw for some damage against his Mandibuzz. And I do, and it nearly took out his Espeon. I was highly surprised that it didn't go down, because Espeon has like base 50 defense, so that kind of stinks not taking it out. But at the same time, I know its best offensive move is Psy Shock, otherwise it would have used something else against my Registeel, so... And Psy Shock is going to be new and doing nothing. It doesn't it doesn't even do that much after a crit, which was right there. And then I completely spaced on Magic Bounce's mechanics. I thought for a second that I only bounce back uh, entry hazards instead of all status moves. So I basically paralyzed my Registeel for nothing. But whatever. That's that's I guess I got to deal with that. So Registeel is already slow as dirt. It's not like he's going to be that hindered by paralysis, other than not being able to move on uh, one of his turns, but eh, that's just an obstacle I'm going to have to work around for the rest of the match. So he switches out his Espeon again, goes into Gliscor. I thought he was going to do that, and I think here I made a switch. No, I didn't. I just stayed in with my Registeel. And here, uh, I got a crit, which was okay, I guess, even though Poison Heal basically negates that crit, which is kind of sad, but whatever. And uh, I'm I, I just gotta hope Milotic can take two hits. Otherwise, it's fodder, and uh, I have to hope an HP Ice for Manic Trick can take it out. Uh, so, we'll see how uh, Milotic does against uh, Acrobatics here. It's gonna be really powerful, and I do take it. And Ice Beam is going to take down the Gliscor. That is just awesome, awesome, awesome. Gliscor was the one thing that basically had me stop this entire match. If it weren't for Gliscor, I probably would have won this match handily, but instead, Gliscor just. I, I had to keep predicting when Gliscor was going to come in and when it wasn't, so it was just a lot more work than what it was worth really fighting against that Gliscor, but whatever, that's what Gliscor does in 5th gen, he annoys the hell out of his opponent, so. Uh, I knew Fake Out was coming, so I just decided to protect. I maybe should have gone for a move, maybe he would go for high jump kick, I don't know, but... Uh, I'm glad I did protect because if he had gone for high jump kick right away, I wouldn't have been able to take it. So that extra lefty's uh, health really helped out. And I decided to protect here. Maybe he'll go for a high jump kick again and it'll and it'll crash to the ground and lose a lot of his health. But he didn't, so whatever. Uh, now I basically have to double protect and hope that uh, his U-turn won't hit and I'll have enough HP to survive. But he gets a crit, which honestly helped me out because now I get initiative on his U-turn which is actually going to prove to be very important coming up right here because now I can switch in my um, my Flygon basically to U-turn and uh, take out his Espeon with no issue with the U-turn and it all comes down to what he switches into uh, against me first so we'll see how that goes after I switch out into my yeah my Manic Trick because all I have left is Manic Trick 
and my Flygon. And Mana Trick is basically fodder at this point, unless I can take out Mian Shao before I can take out Mandibuzz. Otherwise, um, Flygon is basically the poke that I need to keep alive, is my priority to keep him alive. If I didn't have Flygon in this match, I probably would have lost because Mian Shao really had me scared this like entire battle. Because that high jump kick was just it was decimating my core of defensive walls, basically. Like, if it had been using it against Milotic, I probably would have lost it in two hits. Even with Marvel Scale. But, Outrage luckily takes out the Mandibuzz, and that's basically it. Because I know a Fake Out isn't going to take out my Flygon. I know I'm faster, and I know Outrage is going to do plenty of damage. If not, KO it. And it does, so I don't know if that crit mattered, but uh, I don't think it did. So, good game, Gerbil. And uh, hopefully you all enjoyed the match. And